Today, I'm going to show you a grafting technique that almost no one is doing, but it produces incredible growth rates. And it's surprisingly simple. Here are the major benefits of this method. One, by leaving leaves on the scion, the graft union forms more quickly. Two, the leaves allow photosynthesis to continue, which leads to faster post-graft growth. Three, it works even if the scion and rootstock are different in thickness. 4. And best of all, it's easy enough for anyone to try. Why leaving leaves boosts grafting success? In this method, we leave leaves on the scion when grafting. Leaves are essential because they produce both photosynthates and plant hormones like auxins, which are crucial for successful grafting. The union between the rootstock and scion depends on the formation of callus tissue. For active callus formation, the plant needs sugars and hormones, which are mostly produced in the leaves through photosynthesis. However, there's a trade-off. Leaving leaves on the scion also increases transpiration, which can dry out the scion and cause it to die before the graft takes. So. It's a powerful method, but you need to manage moisture carefully. Side by side comparison with leaves versus without. In this video, I grafted 15 scions with leaves and 15 without. 1. Among the leafy scions, 12 out of 15 were successful, but they showed significantly faster growth. The remaining 3 dried out due to moisture loss. 2. Among the scions without leaves, 14 out of 15 were successful, but their overall growth was slower. So the takeaway is this. Scions with leaves grow faster, but they're also more vulnerable to drying out. If you cover the scion with a plastic bag or moisture retaining film, I believe the success rate could be even higher. This approach is especially useful for difficult to graft trees like durian, where grafting success is often low. But in reality, this method can be applied to almost any fruit tree. I'm based in Japan, where I work on avocado breeding, run a nursery and share cultivation methods for various fruit trees. Through this channel, I want to share what I do in Japan with fruit tree growers around the world. If you're interested in grafting, pruning, or other growing techniques, please check out my other videos too. And if you enjoyed this one, I'd be so happy if you hit that subscribe button to support the channel. Thanks as always for watching, and I'll see you again soon.